Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back, Sim UK here. This is GHPC Gunner Heat PC. I'm taking an early look at this before the release date, and um, I played the demo quite a while back, and I've pretty much forgotten everything. Uh, so I'm trying to relearn everything. I've already had one go with absolutely no practice, no reading of any manuals at all, just to see what it's like for an absolute beginner. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Some things are not as simple as you might think they are. Um, but I don't think the learning curve is that huge. If you click on the help section here, there are a lot of external links that open up a bunch of PDFs, some gunnery guides and some getting started in GHPC guides. And they, the way they explain it does sort of make it feel rather more straightforward than it does when you just sort of jump in and try and figure it out yourself. What I'm going to do today is actually trying using an Xbox controller. Um, now in the future, in, in the next video perhaps, when I have a bit of time to set it up, I really would like to change um, this to be two joystick controllers. Uh, I think that would add a lot to the realism. But before I can do that, I've got to learn how to play. So um, I'm going to kind of jump in. So let's go to instant action. Let's just have a bit of a fun drive to start. And um, we'll try and get used to the vehicle whilst using an Xbox controller. It'll be the first time I've done this. So it's going to be a little bit clunky at first, but it, part, part of me feels like, obviously, you're controlling a vehicle, so it makes sense that you have a controller, I think. But in addition to that, um, it very much feels like it's easier to learn the controls on an Xbox controller because every button is familiar. There aren't that many buttons. Whereas on a keyboard, I mean, all keys look the same. It's not quite so easy to differentiate one key from another. Right, so here we are. I can look around using the right thumbstick. Fire using the uh, the right trigger. And we aim using R1. So R1, if you're a... I mix up my controllers, I don't know why, I always have. So R1, I don't know what that is in Xbox terms, but R1 in PlayStation terms uh, directs your gun to where you're looking. So if you say I want to look there, we'll do that. Right trigger fires. Left trigger doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, L1 takes you inside. Do you know what? That is a lot. That is so much more responsive than trying to control it with a with a mouse. Um, do you know what I think that is? I think I've, I may have just discovered something here for the developers to think about, because I'm playing on a 4K monitor. My area of travel is four times more with the mouse than it is for most people playing 1080p. Um, so when I move my mouse a little bit, the, the aimer goes bloody miles. Uh, and I didn't really think about that might be what the reason is. But yeah, now I think about it, I think that might be what the problem is. Because now, this is so precise. I can kind of get that exactly where I, where I want it first time of asking. And if I play with this for a couple of hours, that is going to become very intuitive. So, yeah, something for the developer to think about there. Some of the textures on this tank are a bit iffy. Blurry around the edges, I have to say. The gun doesn't look 100% awesome. If I'm being honest. Uh... Start button is pause, left mouse button is nothing, middle button is nothing, D-pad up, doesn't do anything, D-pad left, is swapping my guns, the left and right on the D-pad swaps guns, down on the D-pad doesn't seem to do anything. Driving is on the left thumbstick, and again, that feels so much better than using a... Um, 
keyboard. I've got to say that feels so much smoother, so much more controllable, so much more responsive. Wow, the difference between using a keyboard and driving using an Xbox controller is like night and day. I'm already loving the game 10 times more using a controller than I was. Using, uh, using the keyboard. Right, so what I've got to think about here, so I right click on R3, that's the thumbstick clicker, um, and that gives me a very strong uh, magnified view using the binoculars. L3 doesn't seem to do anything, a bit weird. So, I'm curious. Y, nothing. X, nothing. A, nothing. B, brings up that main menu. How do I control the troops then? Hmm. I notice the, uh, the wing mirrors have no reflections on them at all. Graphics are a little bit, a little bit low. Just let me look here. As I'm playing in 4K, maybe it stands out more. Lighting, ultra is on high. SSR is on ultra. LODs at one. Oh, well, you can really see it. Vegetation, Antroscopic, always, resolution is on high, motion blur is off, bloom is on, textures, not many controls for textures, but FPS cap, 500. Why would you want to get 500? 60 is fine for me. Right, okay. So, hang on. Let me just come into controls here a second. So, vehicle, default. Submit is A, cancel is B. Pause is start. Map is guide. I don't know what guide means. What on earth is a guide button? I've changed that to back. That makes more sense to me. Uh, vehicle controls, left stick up, left stick down. Turret aim is right shoulder. Uh, zoom. Right, stick button, D-pad up is... Ah, to laze is D-pad up. Stabilise is a D-pad down. There is no button for lights. So I think in order to have an Xbox controller, you're going to need to be able to double up buttons. Like, for example... Left, shift, and back. Yeah, see, that's not going to... So that doesn't let me... Oh, and it also didn't remove it either. So you can't double bind a button. You can't go left shift and X, left shift and Y, left shift and B, and have a different set of controls. And I don't think that's good, because you're going to very quickly run out of... Um, buttons at that rate. Camera, reset camera, exterior camera, free cam. Oh, there's a free cam, I didn't know that. Uh, AAR mode, end mission. Three context menu. Context menu, that's what I need. So, let's try that. Now, I'm hoping context menu will be controllable oh 
Well, that really hasn't worked. Oh, I have no context menu, that's why. Stop by hull lower side. Let's change to the 14.5 mil. Unstabilized. Well, the up and down on the D pad doesn't seem to be doing anything, but it is reloading, so I'm going to give it benefit of the doubt. All right, okay, so we've we've got some things here that we've learnt. Um, go back to main menu. Let's load in a small mission. Uh, let's actually let's just do an instant action because I don't think I'm ready do the other one you are a t-55a in a recon group looking for an alternate route around an enemy strong point enemy unknown numbers of m um, i don't know how to say that one m 113s with dismounted tow and m60 a3 support friendlies mission your group is to destroy any enemy force on the designated alternate route okay so tr just trying to use just the Xbox controller itself could be tricky without the ability to double bind stuff. Crushed by impact angle, it says. I have no idea if I hit that. I, 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 I'm not in the habit of looking up in the left-hand corner yet. That's my problem. Right, context menu. Yes, it works, but no, I can't navigate the menu. It does say partial controller support. I think that's something they really ought to consider improving. Something is shooting at something. a bit of getting used to steering and such. Well, it's not a road this way. Keep it nice. So everything seems to be independent of everything else, which is something else you kind of have to kind of get used to in a tank, I guess. Once you've played it for a while, I think it will all become intuitive, but a little bit too sensitive, I'm finding. Like, I'm trying to drive forwards, but because Xbox controllers are very sensitive things, it does feel like it's going off on a tangent ever so slightly. So there's sensitivity for the mouse. So there is a bit of dead zone. See, look, according to that, that's dead zone, right? So let's just go into the game. And I'll do the same movement. See, that is moving. Maybe just... <clears throat> Maybe just a little bit more dead zone is all I need. Look. Calibrate. Let's go. Yeah, that way I'm going to have to make a significant move. The one side or the other to turn. Oh, talk about getting your controls all back to front. 
Okay, let's restart. Got my I in, I instantly panicked and started pressing all sorts of buttons. I didn't mean to. In an order, I didn't mean to press them. That was a good hit. Penetrated the driver's left arm and leg. Left and front wheel destroyed. Good hit. Hit transmission, penetrated drivetrain, penetrated left hull side. It looks like my teammates are off. Off and running. Now they actually might be my teammates, I don't know for sure. That's how newbie I am at this game. But we know for a fact that there's an enemy presence just over the hill, so we've got to be careful. Yeah, that's much better now. I'm not steering left and right accidentally anymore. That's good. I'm happier about that. <coughs> so I suspect the enemy is going to start shooting at my teammate first. It'd be nice if we could get the gears at some point on the tanks. There's actually no actual damage on that vehicle, which is a bit weird. Ah, this time there is no tank. How oh, very sneaky. Right, so the stabiliser button works. Where did that come from? I'm going to try and get down in this gap. I see him, I see him, I see him. Or is that perhaps a tree? It might be a tree or a bush. some practice. So that tank, wherever he is, has completely destroyed my units. My teammate is there, look, he's going for the kill. And I fear he's actually going to get himself killed. Son of a bitch. That is hard as hell. You need to be so quick. How is he firing at me so fast? It's like he fires a round, instantly fires another round, then fires another round. I thought the fact that he shot my teammate would have given me a couple of seconds to get in there and do some damage. Okay, we're going again. We are going again. So this is really about getting used to the controller. Um, and I've got to say, I'm enjoying the game a hell of a lot more with the controller. The next phase from this is um, The next phase is, of course, um, multiple controllers. I think I missed that. Yeah, I missed it. But the other guy somehow snuck it, snuck away from me. Go, boys, let's go. But the other thing I don't have is the option to... That's a bad sound. Uh, the option to turn on and off, like... IVs and stuff. Uh, something up there. Uh, night vision, thermal imaging, that kind of stuff. All very important for getting the drop on the enemy. Looks like my teammates are doing well. He's absolutely smashed to bits. He's not going anywhere, I don't think. He does still seem to be moving. I can't quite understand how he's doing that. 
leaves on him. Look at the sm the fire coming out the top of that tank. Uh oh. Popping ammo. Missed him. Controller malfunction. Okay. There, there is a dead zone on this that's actually making life more difficult. I think that tank is done. Put one more there. Just to make sure. Where did the other guy go? Gotta fix this. Input. Just controls. Calibrate. Right thumbstick. Uh, get rid of that dead zone. There's no value here. I would really like to see a value so I can put them the same. Better. Now I'm getting movement much, much quicker. Is what I expect. So we've got one tank left. And we know that there's at least one other tank over there. That's the best thing to do here. I'm going to try and go down behind the trees. Straight into the trees, okay. Is that in there? Maps, by the way, absolutely enormous. Look at that. Not sure, if that's him shooting at me or my teammate shooting at him. I'm there. I think that's him, right? Pop my engine. So he hit his engine. Damn it, we're out of ammo again. Switch into ammo type 3. Reloading. Stopped by turret ring. Stopped by left hull side. That's not good. It's kind of insinuating that those shots are not going in. Let's try gun number four. Or ammo type number four. No, nope, that's not going through. Go back to the hundred mils. There you go. Penetrated hell hull left side. Impact delay. Due to restock. Oh, he's definitely done. Job done. We're reloading right now. The breach is empty. Need to be careful. I don't know where my teammate is. I think he might be dead. Oh, he's not dead. He's fine. So we're refilling all of our ammo stocks. We really shouldn't be driving forwards, to be honest. We're heading in the right direction.
do feel like these tanks need to be louder and the guns for that matter it all just sounds a little bit too quiet but I can't navigate this with my controller just issued a command to follow me uh, what I'd like to see is a command to say move to that location oh there he is oh, yeah, he caught up with me quick didn't he Back in the fight. And the problem is, here's another problem. There's a delay on how quickly the turret moves. Obviously because it's mechanical and that's how it works. But, because the right thumbstick controls the, uh, the, the the gun turret as well as the general looking around, when you zoom in, I mean, that's fine. Looking around at that speed is absolutely fine. But when you zoom in, it becomes way too sensitive. What needs to happen is when you zoom in, the sensitivity automatically drops because that is almost uncontrollable, whereas that is absolutely fine. I did think it was uh, a turret issue, but it would be nice if they were all separated. How quickly your look uh, is, is filtered, how quickly your turret is filtered. It would be nice if it was all separate, so you can configure it all as much as you like. But for example, that's how quickly I can turn my head outside. When I put it on zoom, it's, it's I mean, how can you see anything at that speed? It doesn't need to be that fast, it's uh... Hang on. So that's night vision. Night vision. Tell me the thing, I've forgotten. Ah, so you press T again for thermals. Ah, so we've only got night optics, we don't have thermals. It's a shame. <clears throat> it would have made finding the enemy a bit easier. Driving tanks is... A bloody dangerous job. Look at the map a second. If I can follow this road round, it comes. I can follow this road round and come round behind the target. I think that's a good idea. I like that idea. Why is the breach empty still? Come on. target. Do I need to turn here? Really thought there was going to be an enemy there. Come on, get up that hill. Push, 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 damn it. Go, you're a tank. You can drive up a hill for God's sake. so many things that look like tanks trees and bushes and stuff Let's 
see any enemy. Just kind of down here on the left, I guess. Uh, there's a game called um, God, there's a World War II sim called Hell Let Loose and how they implement the gears oh yeah oh yeah How they implement the gears is every time you push forward, uh, you um, go up a gear. How did I miss that? I lasered it and everything. The train again. I'm going to have to aim right above him. Got by train. Still missed him. Bloody hell. So that's some good damage right there. If I can't, even though it says accept and um, decline or whatever, it didn't allow me to do that. See, why is it loading 3BM20s when I've only fired one type of round. I don't get that. It's, it's kind of restocking everything, because it shouldn't. Couldn't really be doing that. Right, let's change our weapon type, our loadout. Perhaps we don't have a laser on this for, for range. I think that's what it is. So I need to page up, change the range. Got my terrain. Did I miss him? What happened there? Absolutely smashed into bits. Well, that's the correct correct range. Put the left hole side. Right. Let's push in. I didn't seem to react very much. I'm not entirely sure what my mission is, if I'm being honest. Whoa! For some reason that guy can't turn around and shoot me. Don't know why. Why is the breach empty? My explosive rounds. Let's try that. Penetrated the right side of the hull. He's dead, right? He looks very dead. I think he's dead. Right, let's try and um, restock. It's a terrible idea because I think there's a tank right there. Bloody ears, look, right in front of me. Uh, where's my teammate? 
food. Come and shoot this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's going to see me and shoot me any second. Can't bring the gun down any lower. That's a that's a unique tank problem, isn't it? I haven't really thought about. How the hell am I up there? I've just done a massive UE. Whoops! <laughs> that was the wrong button. Uh, let's restart. I think I've gone the wrong bloody way here. The area I'm supposed to be targeting is over there. He's shooting that. Still shooting that. Why is he still shooting that? This is where we had the contact report. How do I know when I've completed a mission? I'm definitely in the right area, but I don't see anybody. Okay, that's cool. That was a single clip. So there must be an option to turn that on and off, because that's how I thought it worked before. I don't see any enemies here at all, so I'm completely confused now. What does the game want me to do? I think we've killed everybody. I, I don't really understand what else you want me to do. Platoon, movement, formation, column spacing. So th the only thing that's missing here is go to here like I want to be able to say move here um, and that's not an option at the moment which is quite limiting um, end mission this bit is quite cool you can switch through all the shots and stuff that you had so my first shot hit right in the wheel did quite a bit of damage my first shot against this guy 
A second shot is that. First shot was good. Second shot. Where did the second shot come from? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. God damn it. That's my own vehicle, isn't it? So I was shooting at my own vehicles. <laughs> God. Right. I basically smashed up my own team. I took out the... Uh, that was a good shot from me. Penetrated the man mantlet assembly the turret entered fighting compartment hit loader's torso penetrated loader, loader's torso hit the loader's gut hit loader's lower spine hit the propellant casing hit the gun breech hit the loader's right arm penetrated the load, loader's right arm hit the warhead penetrated propellant casing hit the loader's right lung hit the loader's head penetrated the loader's skull hit the loader's brain stopped by terrain holy cow I really did a number on them there, didn't I? Kind of went straight in the, the little looky hole, perhaps. Crikey. It is frightening, really, isn't it? The amount of damage that tanks do to each other. Right, so then we took out this guy up here. Oh, yeah, I see. We swung round and attacked these a second time, didn't we? Uh, and then I think the enemy took out one of our tanks. Yeah, this little guy here. They are the most lethal things in this game. Okay. There's there's going to be a lot of shots there. So I don't know if I if I achieved that or not. Because I don't know how the end of a mission appears. Um, playing with an Xbox controller, way more fun than playing with a keyboard. But, it's going to take a bit of time to get the button configuration right. The next thing for me is to get some joysticks hooked up and try that out. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. Definitely thumbs up for the Xbox controller. Maybe a little bit of development required in some areas as i've mentioned throughout the game but um i definitely enjoyed that experience more it felt more realistic and more immersive and more more fun so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one take care goodbye for now